Hello friends, kumusta? How are you all? In today's update, we will talk about international flights, airlines that are flying to and from the Philippines. So for those who are looking for to book their flights to the Philippines, especially for Burmans or Christmas, it may be the good time to start checking out for the plane tickets. So in this video, we'll talk about the flight schedules for different airports in the Philippines, mainly Manila, Clark, and Cebu. So let's go ahead with the international flights for June and beyond. Now let's start with the basics. Mandatory wearing of face masks. In other countries, you may hear about, oh, in the U.S., you no longer need to wear face masks on your flight. But in the Philippines, it's still a requirement. So please bring face masks, mandatory wearing of face masks in the Philippines. While how about COVID test, Jennifer? Well, you only need a COVID test if you're leaving the Philippines for exit the Philippines po, kung aalis kayo ng bansa, you only need to take a COVID test if it is required by your airline or transit country or country of destination. But most of the time, country of destination requirements lang yung susundin. Most of the time. For example, if you're going to Canada, you no need to get tested as long as you're fully vaccinated. If you're going to Australia, you no need to get tested as long as you're fully vaxxed. Going to Saudi, no need to get tested. Going to UAE, no need to get tested na din. You're going to Singapore, no need to get tested as long as you're fully vaccinated. Going to the Philippines, char, uh, it started last May 30, no need to get tested as long as you're boosted. As long as you have at least one booster, then no need to get tested. This applies to all travelers, Filipinos, or foreign nationals. Now, many, many countries in the world already removed the pre-departure testing requirement. These are just some of them. Well, how about the USA? I know many of my viewers are in the USA. Well, I am quite surprised, but the USA is behind. Hmm... Going to the USA, you still need to get tested. Going to the USA, po, you need to show negative test result or proof of recovery. That is required for all air passengers two years, two years old and older. How about, Jennifer, is there an online form that we need to fill out like One Health Pass? Do we need to fill it out when entering the Philippines? Yes, but for exit the Philippines, when leaving the Philippines, no need to do One Health Pass. There is no online form. One Health Pass is only required for entry to the Philippines but not for exit. Always, guys, I want to remind you to please follow your airline's advisory. Now, always check their website or your email for any changes on your flight or travel requirements to your country of destination. Dapat always updated ka sa sinasabi ng airline mo. Now, let's go to the flights. June 2022, let's start with Clark International Airport. So, these are the international flights for the month of June in Clark. So, let's start, let's start with Jetstar. We have Singapore to Clark, Clark to Singapore. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times. Oh, actually, meron pa. So, 6 times. One, two. Oh, 6 times weekly. With Jetstar, Paputang, Singapore. We also have the budget airline scoot. Singapore to Clark. Clark to Singapore. That's daily, guys. Jeju Air. There's a layover. For those coming from other parts of the world, po, there's Incheon to Clark. Clark to Incheon. To those who want to avail direct flights to Clark, ayan. Jetstar, Scoot, Jeju Air. We also have Jin Air, Incheon to Clark. Clark to Incheon. Daily siya, except lang June 12. Now, these two airlines are new. We have T-Way in Fly Wangon. Incheon to Clark, Clark to Incheon po. That's every Monday and Friday starting June 24. Wow! Ito yung dalawang airlines that uh, to showed interest to fly in Clark. Napakaganda because we know that South Koreans are our number one tourist market. So, there's also Fly Fly Gangwon from Yangyang, Korea to Clark and then Clark to Yangyang every Tuesday and Saturday. So, mga Emirates po, Middle East, we have Emirates daily, Clark to Dubai, Dubai to Clark. There's also Qatar, Doha to Clark, Clark to Doha. Then, for domestic flights po, 
Um, meron din da, uh, konti lang yung flights. There's only two schedules for domestic flights in Clark. It's because they're very close to Manila. But we have Cebu to Clark, Clark to Cebu daily with Cebu Pak. And then Philippine Airlines then Cebu to Clark, Clark to Cebu. Well, how about Cebu, the most lenient airport? <laughs> I talked this in our last update that Cebu may accept unvaccinated foreign tourists, but please coordinate with your airline. You have to confirm that they will accept you before you book that ticket. Anyways, we have Cebu. This is the second biggest gateway, biggest airport in the Philippines. So we have, if you want direct flights to Cebu, Please choose these airlines. We have Qatar Airways, Doha to Clark, Clark to Doha, four times weekly. We also have Emirates from Dubai, that's daily. We have Turkish Airlines, oh, three times weekly from Istanbul to Cebu, Cebu to Istanbul. Then we have Cathay Pacific, Hong Kong to Cebu, Cebu to Hong Kong to be announced. Korean Air, that's Incheon to Cebu, Cebu to Incheon. Thursday and Sunday, we have Jeju Air also in Chon to Cebu, Jin Air also in Chon to Cebu, two times weekly, and then Singapore Airlines, that's daily, Scoot then, Singapore to Cebu, Cebu to Singapore, five times weekly, and then Philippine Airlines, special flights lang, Cebu to Narita, Narita to Cebu, it's only for June 4 and 18, later we'll check some plane tickets. And then for Cebu, uh, domestic flights in Cebu, of course, there are plenty. So much, guys. And if you guys want to fly to Cebu, domestic flights, I flew to Cebu last month. And I can tell you, it's almost back to normal. You just wear masks. And there is absolutely no requirements if you're flying domestic to Cebu. Yan, Cebu, Davao, Manila, absolutely there is no requirements. <laughs> back to normal for domestic flights to Cebu. So there's plenty of domestic flights in Cebu, Cebu Pacific, Air Asia, Air Swift. If you want to go to El Nido, there's Air Swift. Ayan, napakadami po, super. And there was an announcement by Cebu Airport Authority that there will be new terminal assignment. For Terminal 1, it will be all domestic flights, arrivals. And if you guys need to change terminal in Cebu, there is a bus po just outside the arrival area. And it's always there. Oh, 20, uh, I, I think until 9 p.m. I'm not sure sure what time yung uh, closing niya. Pero I had the opportunity to talk with the driver pa. And they're very friendly. They have a big bus to accommodate people who need to change terminal. And let's go with, they have also international flights. All arrivals will be in Terminal 2. And same with the departures. So Terminal 1, domestic. Terminal 2, international. That's starting June 16. Now let's go to Philippine Airlines. Philippines Airlines may not be the most popular amongst some Filipinos because of issues of cancellations or flight uh, operational uh, issues, but... Uh, we cannot deny the fact that Philippine Airlines uh, has the most convenient flights because it's direct. It's mainly because it has direct flights. Going to America or coming from America or North, North America, yun yung advantage of PAL, direct. So if you're flying with kids or seniors, then it would be the best anyways. Um, um, there's very good news that international flights po and domestic flights by PAL have been progressively increased po, I can tell you. That's because of the easing of restrictions. So let's start with flights to and from America with PAL. Now let's check uh, Philippine Airlines plane ticket. So let's do, uh, let's start with Los Angeles to Manila. Let's see if we fly. Of course, if we book it for this month, mahal talaga no. Uh, so I'll just do. Let's just try for this month. So I will do June ta June twenty. Tapos balik ng July twenty. So that's a month of stay in the Philippines. Okay, we have Los Angeles to Manila. Ay, mahal talaga, guys. We only we have economy flex. That's for 1,588 US dollars. This is a direct flight. 
Then with 2 piece at 23 kilos or 50 pounds per piece. Continue. Then going back to the US, ang mahal naman, 1,130 US dollars. So total, if we book it today, first week of June, then leaving, leaving LA on June 20 and then going back on July 20, that's for 2,719 US dollars. 27. Pricey. Let's try other routes. Let's do San Francisco. San Francisco to Manila. Now we leave on June 25. We go back July 25. So that's a month of stay in the Philippines. This is economy for one passenger only. For June 26, San Francisco to Manila with PAL direct flight 1,388. Point thirty, and then going back, we have one thousand four hundred five. Oh, very pricey. Oh, leaving San Francisco on June twenty six, going back on July twenty five. With PAL checking today is at two thousand seven hundred ninety four U.S. dollars. Oh, mahal. Why don't we check? Why don't we change the flight time? Of course, it's expensive for this month. Now, how about we do check for? Check for, let's say, three months from now. June, July, August. Uh, let's check na lang Christmas. Well, already at it. Christmas. Let's see. Let's say you arrive on December 10 and then you go back. January. January. Oh, let's say 6. So we have San Francisco to Manila. We'll leave on December 10 for 888. That's economy value. And then going back to San Francisco on January 6, it's $1,080. So total po, if we leave San Francisco on December 10, then we go back on January 6, that's $1,969 US dollars. Okay, let's do another route. Let's do New York. New York to Manila. Alright, we have for New York to Manila, July 5, 1,653.30 US dollars. And then going back to New York on August 1, 1,100. Oh, abut pa rin ng 2,800. Mahal pa rin, guys. It, let's do Honolulu. Alright, we have Honolulu to Manila. On June 21, it's for 880, 888, and then going back to Honolulu, July 50, 980. So if we take this flight with PAL, we book today, and then we leave on June 21, go, we go back July 15, that's for 1,869 po. 1,869 US dollars. So that's for US flights. Let's go to the flight schedule to Canada. So let's go to Canada. Remember that for Canada, you still have, if you if you are not a Canadian citizen, you are not a legal permanent resident of Canada, you need to be fully vaccinated unless exempted. And also, you have to submit and register to Arrive Can app. It's an app or an online form. 72 hours prior to arriving to Canada. So, these are the flights to or from Canada with PAL. Now let's go to check some flights to Canada. How much? So let's start with Vancouver. Vancouver to Manila. And then let's say we leave Vancouver on for this month. Let's say June 30. And then we go back June 20. So that's about 20 days of stay in the Philippines. Yan Vancouver walang layover. Yung Toronto my layover sa Vancouver. Yung Toronto palang my layover. So, okay, let's check. This is for Vancouver to Manila on June 30. That's for 1,684 Canadian dollars. That's with 23 kilos of check in luggage. And then going back, let's see, this flight is direct. Okay, going back, going back to Canada, Vancouver, 
we have 1,495. So if you take this flight, guys, with Philippine Airlines, you leave Vancouver on June 30, and then you go back on July 20. That's for hmm, 3,180 Canadian dollars. This is a direct flight economy. Okay, let's we check Vancouver. Let's do check oh, Toronto. Toronto. Or oh, ito Toronto to Manila, July 10. That's for 1,397 Canadian dollars with the 23 kilos check in luggage. This one is a direct flight. Show flight details. But there may be a stopover in Vancouver. Next up, we have going back to Toronto on July 31 that's for 1635 Canadian dollars so total if we take this flight is at 3032 Canadian dollars we leave Toronto on July 10 we go back July 31 this is with Pal now let's check some plane uh, let's check the schedule of Middle East flights sa mga kababahe natin sa, oh, sa Middle East po Let's go check with Philippine Airlines magkano yung ticket. So simulan natin Riyadh. Riyadh to Manila. So let's say ibook na lang natin for August. Ayan, August. Alis ng August 10. Oh, balik ng iwan way ko na lang, guys. Iwan way ko na lang ha. Riyadh. Riyadh to Manila. Riyadh to Manila August 10. So, search ko. Assuming ko na lang ito para sa mga kababayan nating um, for good na sa Philippines or end of contract. Ayan, Riyadh to Manila po ng August 10 po nasa 2,254 Saudi Arabian Rials. Again po, kung um, Philippine Airlines po, August 10, 2,254. Iba talaga kasi noon, na nag-check ako, palaging ubus na yung tickets. Mas marami na talaga yung flights ngayon, guys. Kasi nagluwag na yung, hindi lang yung Pilipinas, pati din yung Saudi. Mag napakagandang balita. I-check naman natin, Damam. Tingnan natin, Damam to Manila. Ito yung pinakamura nakita ko dito. August 21, 1,719 Saudi Arabian Rials. Dubai... O yan, Dubai to Manila po, alis ka ng July 20, nasa 2,680 AED po. O ayan. Now, punta naman tayo sa flight schedule to or from Australia and New Zealand. Remember that if you're going to Australia, there is a registration to digital passenger declaration within 72 hours before departure. Vaccination proof is a must, especially for non-legal permanent residents and non-Australian citizens. No, If you want to go to Australia as a tourist, you need to be fully vaccinated unless exempted. Basta fully vaccinated ka, no need to show negative test results. So here are the flights going to or from the U Australia and New Zealand. Let's check some prices for Sydney and uh, Australia and New Zealand. So I will do Sydney. Sydney to Manila. Ayan, Sydney to Manila. Let's say, uwi ka ng winter season, di ba, sa Australia. June, so, let's say na lang July na lang. O June, gawin na natin June. You spend your four, day, four weeks of holiday there in the Philippines. So, four weeks of stay. June 20, balik ng July 20. One month ka dala magstay sa Pinas. Tingnan natin magkano. We have... Sydney to Manila on June 19 that's for 627 Australian dollars and then going back to Sydney on July 20 that's 522 so total price would be 1150 I think this is typical of Philippine Airlines maybe slightly higher than the normal price back in normal times now let's check how about Melbourne Melbourne check not in Melbourne to Manila 
you can also do um, domestic flights so for example pwede mo gawing gawing yung Davao o oh, diba o oh, Iloilo mas okay guys if you're international and domestic flights kung PAL naman eh, gawin mo na lang ding PAL yung domestic flight pero minsan kasi mahaba yung layover no sa Manila especially pag province K- kayo na bahala yung no umuwi yung auntie ko ginawa ko Coca to Manila with PAL pero yung Manila to Davao ginawa kong Cebu Pacific mainly because kung nagpal siya 10 hours layover sa Manila eh, kawawa naman napakatagal so ginawa ko ginawa kong Cebu Pacific and 4 hours lang yung hinintay niya tsaka nagchange terminal lang siya so it's it's another choice so let's go Melbourne to Manila Melbourne to Manila we leave on June 25 and then we go back to Melbourne on July 25. So that's a month of stay in the Philippines. So we have Melbourne to Manila on June 25. This is economy value with uh, 30 kilos of check-in luggage. Check, okay, wait there. Check-in luggage, yeah, 30 kilos, 858 Australian dollars. And then going back to Melbourne on July 25, that's for 527 U- Australian dollars. So total would be... 1385 Australian dollars you leave on June 25 you go back on July 25 now let's go to our flights from Asia Check natin yung magkano yung tickets, how much the tickets for let's say Tokyo. So anyways, diyan mahal pa din no. Um Tokyo to Manila 122,860 Japanese yen. O magkano yan in peso? Ay, mahal grabe. Ang mahal talaga ng Japan, guys, kasi close pa sila sa borders eh. Oh, 122,860 yung sa tita ko naman because this is the only direct flight kaya yun talaga yung kinuha namin mahirapan din kami kung may layover kasi stress na siya nun pero kung Cebu Pacific din po mahal din po ang Cebu Pacific nag check din po ako so i-compare compare nyo po yung airlines huwag kayong mag settle lang sa isang airline okay i-check na naman natin let's do o oh, Korea Oh, how about uh, sige, Korea na lang Korea, Incheon to Korea, Manila Seoul to Manila guys June 30, ayan nasa 300,000 and 800 Korean won magkano ba yan guys? 300,000 Korean won to PHP Ay, okay lang. Not bad. Not bad. Nasa 12,000 lang, guys. For June 30, nasa 300,000 and 800. And then, pabalik. Pabalik ng Korea, nasa 356. Oh, 658,700 Korean won po. Ito ay alis ng, haalis ng June 30, babalik ng July 30. Ayan po ang ating mga international flights. For the month of June, I hope nakatulong ng video na ito sa mga schedules and checking of plane tickets prices. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so. God bless you all. If you book your ticket, comment down below how much and which airline. God bless you all and all have a safe travel to the Philippines. Bye!